First woman to serve on the Supreme Court. We'll have to ask her what she told the umpires. <laughs> well, and it is an honor to have with us in the booth, as we mentioned, retired Supreme Court Justice Sandra Day O'Connor. Justice O'Connor, thanks so much for being here at Wrigley Field. I'm so glad to be at Wrigley Field. It's my first visit to this marvelous place. Well, what do you think? Oh, it's fabulous. I love it. You have an incredible view. You're close to the lake. It's just a beautiful, beautiful sight. And well, it was uh, overcast right at the uh, first pitch, but all but of a it sudden looks it's, great. it's brightened up. And, and you have a big crowd and an enthusiastic fan base. It's really fun to see. I'm thrilled to see it. We had a uh, shot of you delivering the game ball to the umpires. Exactly. Can you uh, fill us in on what you told them? Well, I told them to try to be absolutely fair. <laughs> <laughs> they oh, don't always great. take your advice, though. That's the problem. Oh, I'm sure they will. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe coming from you, they certainly never listened to me before. I know that. <laughs> it was fun. One out in the inning, Carlos Gonzalez at the plate. As he's going to ground out to Terrio. You are here to talk about our courts and you can go to ourcourts.org a web based education project designed to teach students civics and inspire them to be active participants mm -hmm. in democracy tell us about your involvement well many states have stopped making the teaching of civics and government a requirement for high school graduation I'm very sad because we started public schools in America with the idea that it, they were there to teach people about how our government works so that youngsters could learn how they could be good citizens when they grow up. I never thought I would see the day when we stopped teaching civics and government. Now it could be a little boring how they were teaching it, but nonetheless it's an important function of the schools. And we've had testing lately uh, by the Annenberg ooh big hit there the Annenberg and he, actually the inning ended can you wait just, for a couple of I'm minutes and wait. we'll continue yes we'll continue that would be great. When, when we will continue done. with Justice O'Connor nothing nothing from Wrigley and we were uh, interrupted but in a good way because Carlos Silva worked a one two three third inning Justice O'Connor, please continue. You were talking about our courts. I was starting to tell you what the Annenberg polls show about what young people know today about uh, civics, and it's pretty sad. The worst statistic of all is that barely one-third of people today can even name the three branches of government, much less say what they do. That's pretty sad. Lewitsky makes a play one out uh, I would agree with that and uh, and you know young people can name some of the judges on American Idol but nobody on the Supreme Court and yeah, that, uh, that is very true and, uh, especially now with everything that's going on in the country it's yes. more important than ever to uh, understand it, is. How it, it absolutely happens. is we have to do a better job of teaching young people. Now, I decided we should work on middle schoolers. That's sixth, seventh, and eighth graders. Dig by Helton, two outs. Those are the years when young people first develop an intellectual capacity. And middle schoolers are so much fun. They're eager to learn. They're just great. That's the perfect age to teach them. And so these days, youngsters that age spend about 40 hours a week in front of a screen, whether it's television or a, um, a computer. computer. Mm -hmm. And if we can get a little of that time, it doesn't take that much, a little, and get them on my website to learn about how government works, we will have done the job. And I think we can do it because the website has games for them to play that are really fun. 
And when these young people start playing them, they say, oh, that's cool. That's fun. So I think that's the way to get them educated. And that's my plan. And I hope to educate an entire generation of young people in this country. It's a wonderful program. Again, ourcourts.org. Mm -hmm. And right there is the web page. Yeah. So uh, make sure yeah. you check it out. I hope they will. It's really fun. And the games are great. And they'll learn something. Swing and a miss. One and two on Derek Lee. Congratulations on the uh, receiving the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Thank you. Last I August, correct? I, I, yes, I didn't expect that. And I had at that occasion an opportunity to speak with the president for, I don't know, three minutes or so. And I told him that I was very glad he had appointed another woman to the court. That was Justice Sotomayor. But I said, Mr. President, two is not enough in my opinion. And he looked at me and he said, Justice O'Connor, I agree with you. <laughs> and he just proved that he did There's because no he's question. named a third woman. And I was cheering when that <laughs> happened. Thanks so much for uh, stopping by. Thank it's been you. an honor. I'm glad I could. It was fun for me.